Welcome guys! Finally we're hitting the section where everybody's wondering how to do it. I got so many emails, how do I install DOF? So today we're finally installing DOF. What is DOF? Well, DOF is, stands for Direct Output Framework. Uh, it has been developed by a, a guy named Swiss Lizard. Uh, he's done a fantastic job. Um, I want to thank him, by the way, for this wonderful add-on to our, our tables because it changes the gameplay tremendously. Uh, it adds so much to it. It changes the feel. It adds uh, the capability of having force feedback, which is like the uh, solenoids, the contactors, the shaker motors, um, you can add LED dot matrix, you can add uh, beacons, like there's, there's a lot that can be added uh, on the table because of this piece of software. So what it is, it's pretty much a, a software that was written that is the man in the middle between your table and the hardware, right? So let's say you have a, a let's say you have a strobe okay so you want this to activate in the table when for example the, the the ball hits a ramp or a back bumper so the table hits that specific spot it sends a signal to like DOF sees it and DOF sends the signal to the LED whiz and the LED whiz turns on the device so that's how it works so today what we're going to do is uh, we are going to install DOF on your system and we are going to configure it. Now what we're going to do, the way we're going to do it is we're just going to talk about the software and the installation. Um, it works hand in hand with the LED Wiz and other devices. So we're going today, we're not going to uh, do the hardware portion. Um, the next video is going to be the hardware portion with the LED Wiz. So to start with the software, uh, what I would recommend is that you visit the Direct Output website where Swiss Lizard put together an amazing guide. Uh, the link will be in the description below. Uh, keep that as a reference. Every time you have a question, everything is documented here. Uh, for example, on the left side you can see the installation and the config. Um, well, he's got pretty much everything described. Also, uh, if you go on our website, we have uh, a complimentary uh, guide uh, that we've done on our website uh, with this video. So let's just start with the download of this software. Um, you can get it from many, many places. Uh, we've actually added a download section on our website. And then we kept all the software in one place so it's easy for you guys to download. You're going to have all the download required for our virtual pinball machine. So what you will want is the latest version of DOF, which is right here, Direct Output R3 Beta. So you're going to download that on your computer. And then what you're going to do after is you're going in the download folder. You're going to right click and then you're going to extract it. So what I want you to do is, this is the naming of the folder. I want you to delete everything after the output. All we're gonna keep is direct output. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click, you're gonna say cut, and we're going to go on our C drive, and right in here, you're gonna right click, and then you're gonna hit paste. And then the folder is going to be right here. In the folder, what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click and then you're gonna create new again. Right click, new, and then you're going to name the folder config, C-O-N-F-I-G. Uh, nothing's gonna be in it right now, but we're gonna put stuff in it. So we need a config folder. One more step that we need to do for the installation. So in order for this to work, uh, it's gonna work with tables, right? So the first one we're going to install is Visual Pinball. What you're going to go is you're going to click on the Getting Started drop-down arrow right here and VP Installer. 
that's going to bring you to the uh, latest version of Visual Pinball. There's a VPX installer. So you're going to download this file and you're going to install it to the uh, destination folder uh, suggested here on the C drive. So Visual Pinball uh, will ask you for the B2S back glass. So if, if you have two monitors or plus, um, it will ask you, do you want to set this up right now? So what you do is you just set the, uh, the width and the height of your play field, which the play field is the, um, the, where the tables are. And then the back glass is, of course, at the back. Now, you may have to play with this. Um, I see a lot of people uh, in forums say, oh, well, I have a lot of problems where my, my back glass is on the same screen as my play field. So that might just be it right here. So try it uh, once you once you actually once you're done with it, uh, you can just close this. And um, what you want to do is you can register the back glass app right here. See right now it says it, it, it's registered. So now it's all it's all set. So once you're you're done with your setup, click that and then you're good. If it shows on the same um, monitor as your play field, change the two to a one or to a three, and then you'll see it'll change your results. And then, but that's where you fix that problem. And that is in the uh, the Visual Pinball software that we just installed. That's where you're gonna find the setup in Visual Pinball under Tables and uh, B2S underscore Setup. That's where you're gonna, that's where you're gonna find the setup right here. So once we have this, what we need to do is you're going to add a folder in the Visual Pinball slash Table folder. So you're gonna navigate to your Visual Pinball, you're gonna click on Tables, and here I want you to create uh, this folder right here, plugins. Create this folder. All right, you're gonna right click new and just type plugins. In here, what are we gonna find? Easy. It's gonna be a shortcut of our direct output. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click, you're gonna say create shortcut. It's probably gonna put it on the desktop. So, just say yes. So, you see it's right here. All right. And what you want to do, you want to take this and drag it to the plugins folder. And that's it. That's it, guys. Um, that's the installation of DOF. I'm going to show you how do you test it out to make sure that it, it works, okay? So to test it, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go in your folder, the direct output folder on the C drive. Actually, what, what's uh, very helpful, I find, is if you take this, drag it, put it in your quick access right here, uh, just below. So every time you need to, to actually go to it, you don't have to find it. It's right here. So I really like this. So I usually what I do is I put direct output. I put visual pinball. Uh, so let's just do visual pinball as well. So I'll take visual pinball and I'll put just below. So now we have quick access, right? We don't have to navigate through the entire hard drive. So I like this, it's a quick trick. So under direct output, we're gonna need to do a few things, okay? DLL there basically programs. And then what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna to right click on this, go to properties. And at the bottom here, you may or may not see unblock. If it is, if it shows unblock, just click it. And then you need to do it for every single DLL that you find in this folder. One more thing that we're gonna do before we, uh, we test it is you're going to right click on direct output config tester. You're gonna go to properties and then you're going to go on the uh, compatibility uh, tab and run this as administrator. And then you click okay. And then you're going to do this for global config editor as well and register direct output com object and then we're going to do this as well for visual pinball so we're going to click on the visual pinball folder now you, you see here there's a few different versions of visual pinball uh, you got pinball x uh, 995 921 and these are different physics and eight so 
Typically, I'm only using 995 and X. So I'm going to right click on 995, Properties, Compatibility, run this program as administrator, apply and OK. And I'm doing the same thing for Pinball X. We are set. And um, so now what we're going to do in the direct output folder, we're going to go to the register direct output com object. You're going to right click and then you're going to click open. If your computer is prompting you for uh, just say yes. And now we have this is basically the confirmation that DOF is working properly on your computer. So if you have this, it works well. Uh, our next video, setting up the LED with. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, folks, uh, click that subscribe button. And we have a lot more videos and tutorial. And if you click the notification bell, every time you up we upload a new video, you're going to be notified. That way, you're not going to miss any new content. We thank you very much for your time, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.